How's everybody doing tonight? I like to hear it. We want to welcome you tonight to a night of prayer and worship. We're so glad you're here. Will you stand with us if you're not standing? Let me ask you a question. Are you excited to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Are you excited what he's going to do tonight? Come on, give him praise in this place. Hallelujah. Saturday was silent. Surely it was through. But since when has it possible? It will stop too. This is the sound of travels rattling. This is the praise make a dead man walk again. Open the grave, I'm coming out. I'm gonna live, gonna live again. This is the sound of travels rattling.
My pack's out. My pack is out, so I'm gonna do this without my pack. Here we go. Come all you weary, come all you thirsty, come to the well that never runs dry. For the battle 
Welcome, all of you, both here and online. It just came to me before I came up. We're having a night of prayer and praise. Before World Outreach ever happened, we spent several months where one night a week we came together and did nothing but worship and praise God. What we're doing tonight is going to bring birth to something. Well, you're used to it, so I won't let it go by. Hello, church. <laughs> and I don't say that casually to tonight, this day. We're taking a specific position before the Lord tonight, for as we pray and praise, we're asking the Holy Spirit to set ambushes against the enemies of the church. Now, you're going to understand ambushes in a little bit. But Alan's been teaching us for weeks and weeks what has to happen, what has to change, where the power has to come is from us, the church. And that's why we're here tonight. So that we may see his kingdom on earth victorious. Now, our scripture that I'm going to have you read with me in just a little bit is coming from 2 Chronicles chapter 20. I encourage you sometime this week, read the whole chapter. They just wouldn't let me read the whole thing. <laughs> but I put some important verses out of that chapter that give us direction tonight. We're just not wandering, reading a sweet scripture, singing some songs. We're here doing business with the Spirit of God. And the history that I want to tell you about that comes out of 2 Chronicles 20 is that at the particular time we're looking at, as we begin to look in the verses there, Judah was militarily weak. Judah and Jerusalem, they weren't powerful. They'd been through some things, and they weren't a powerful military force. And all at once, the people began to notice that three nations across the Jordan River were coming together, and they were beginning to march towards Jerusalem. And at the time we are taking this 
story up, they had gone as far as En Gedi. Now, those of you that have been to Israel, I've got a good clear picture of where En Gedi is. That's where the spring comes out of the side of the mountain and comes down and runs into the Dead Sea. Judah was weak militarily, but Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir were very, very strong. And they had joined together to come and defeat Judah. This was fearful to all of the people of Judah. So King Jehoshaphat, who was a righteous, good king, he was a good king, one of those not too many. And he began to seek the Lord and to fast, not only him, but all of Judah joined together with King Jehoshaphat. And they spent some time in fasting and prayer, seeking the Lord. I want to thank all of you that heard Alan the last two weeks. He said, Wednesday, we're taking as a day of fasting. If you haven't been, join us. There are several here from the prayer group. We've been fasting on Wednesdays. We're seeing things happen. And with all of us together, it's going to be like with King Jehoshaphat. We don't know what God wants us to do, but we're listening. Well, what, what happened? There was a prophet. And the prophet came and he spoke to King Jehoshaphat and gave him a clear picture as to what they were do, to do. The prophet said, do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army that's coming against you. For the battle is not yours, but God's. That's where we are. We in this nation, the battle is the Lord's in the hands of those who say, I'm a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we're going to see a winning battle. So the next morning, I mean, those three countries, they were already down to En Gedi and moving towards Jerusalem. You can walk that far in a couple of days, so it was becoming imminent. So they did what the prophet had told them to do, and that's why we're here tonight. He said, get your military out, line them up like they looked like they were going to take on the battle. But he said, in front of the army, you put out the worshipers, the praisers, the singers, the instruments. We didn't really need them, but we brought them all tonight. <laughs> They're part of the army. They are out in front with all of these that are leading us in praise and worship. They went out in front of the army. And as the big force came against them, God, now you say, what in the world, George, is an ambush? We've all got an idea, but we don't know what God did. God set an ambush and they destroyed themselves. None of the Judah army had to swing a sword, shoot a spear. They stood still behind the worshipers and the praisers and victory came. God gave them victory. We're going to see that. So tonight, don't sit there and fall asleep. You're going to hear some songs. It's just going to be hard to fall asleep. But let's get with it and begin to praise God. We're going to release the Spirit of God here tonight for what He's doing ahead. Isn't it wonderful He sent Alan away? I tell you, I had a hard time getting him out of here. So if you'll take out your handouts, stand to your feet. We're going to read these short scriptures that come from 2 Chronicles chapter 20. But as you think about them, as we read them, and you go back and read the whole chapter, you'll be so encouraged in the days ahead. You'll begin to praise God when you drive down the street in your car. You'll find that in your heart, worship and praise will begin to bubble up and They'll look over to the other seat and say, what's wrong with you? <laughs> the Spirit of God is moving among us, and like we said, He's going to bring victory to us. 
It will be so exciting when we look back to this night and we say, we unleashed something that God set us up to do. We began to worship and praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, if you'll read with me, 2 Chronicles 20, starting at verse 6. King Jehoshaphat said, Lord, the God of our ancestors, are you not the God who is in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of the nations. Power and might are in your hand, and no one can understand you. Second Chronicles 20, 21 and 22. After consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness as they went out at the head of the army, saying, Give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures forever. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who were invading Judah, and they were defeated. Hallelujah! Give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures forever. Bow with me and we'll say a brief prayer to set us on to our praise, our worship. Let the Spirit of God come out tonight. Amen. Don't sit and go to sleep. Lord, we've come here because we believe you have brought us together this night for this purpose at this time. We yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit. Lord, we listen to the words that we speak. We listen to the music that sets us free in our spirit to trust you, to let that, Lord, which would hold us back, we release anything that we need to be free from, Lord. Let us tr truly come to see, as Ellen has said, we repent, we yield ourselves to you, we seek you with all of our heart, just as King Jehoshaphat did. And when he did, you answered him. Lord, you will answer us in the days ahead, and we will see victory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We're going to sing a song that was written back in 1963. You're welcome to have a seat for this one, but you might be up by the end. It's written by Bill Gaither. Sing along if you know the words. Internalize them, know that he does all things. Shackled by a heavy burden Neath the load of guilt and shame This blessed Savior, since He cleansed and made me whole.
You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> oh, I love these songs. Everybody put your hands together. Jesus is the light of the world, amen? I wandered so aimless, life filled with sin. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in. Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. I saw the light, I saw the light. No more in darkness, no more in night. Now I'm so happy, no sorrow inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Just like a blind man, I wandered along.
promises. Amen. Our God never changes. He is a faithful God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do you believe that, church? He's a great God. Amen. be an amazing day when we stand before the throne we sing that before the king of kings and the lord of lords amen amen you may have a seat amen we serve a great god hallelujah good evening family my name is roderick butler and i am going to ask you to read along with me we're going to read from philippians chapter 4 verses 4 through 8 this, real quickly, this has gotten me through so many times in life. So read this, let's read this together. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, 
whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Amen. Amen. I want to ask you to bow your head with me, and I'll pray. Father God, I thank you so much, Lord, for your love for us. I thank you for this World Outreach Church family that you've brought together, Lord. Now, Lord, I lift up our individual families in the name of the Lord Jesus, and I ask you to help us, Father, to be doers of your word and not hearers only. In you, Lord, we have good reason to rejoice always because you are with us. I thank you, Lord, we can cast all our care on you because you care for us. So, Father, as families, we look to you and we declare you, Lord, are our unfailing, unlimited, total and complete source of supply. You supply all of our need, Lord, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, and financially. And we love you, Lord, and we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's stand together again. There's nothing better than the Lord. Let's rejoice in Him right now. I search the world. I search the world. But it couldn't fill me. Man's empty praise and treasures that fade are never enough. And you came along you put me back together and every desire is now satisfied here in your love oh there's nothing better than you there's nothing better than We're not afraid. I'm not afraid to show you my weakness, my failures and flaws. Lord, you've seen them all, and you still call me friend. Cause the God of the mountain is the God.
going to take a moment and just reflect on the goodness of the Lord, the faithfulness of the Lord. Think of what he's brought you through. Think of the air that you breathe. We take so much for granted, amen? The Lord is good to us. He is faithful, and we love him, right? Let's tell him tonight that we love him. Amen and amen. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Till I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of our God
The Lord is good, amen? Let me ask you a question. Does anybody here need a touch from the Lord? I think so many times we take for granted the power we have in the name of Jesus. He tells us, it's simple, he tells us to ask and to believe. I think we're great at asking, but I think we're terrible at believing. I believe that when we call upon the name of the Lord, you can be healed, you can be restored, and you can be saved, amen? Yeah. 
Good evening, church. It is so good to worship with y'all. My name is Meredith Craig, and I lead the college ministry here at the church. Um, I would ask you to join me in reading Psalm 100, verse 1 through 5. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us, and we are His. We are His people, the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to the Lord and praise His name. For the Lord is good, and His love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. I'd like to invite the Lord to bless our nation and to bless all that He's doing in the earth. Bow with me. Heavenly Father, we give praise to You today. Lord, You are worthy. You created the earth and all that's in it. You give us light and You, you give us life and You set our feet on paths of righteousness. We give thanks to You because You have chosen us and called us out of darkness. You have forgiven our sins and Lord, You've restored our souls. You and you alone deserve glory and honor and praise. Let all the earth be filled with the praises of our God. Let the name of Jesus be lifted up once again across our land, on campuses, in courtrooms, throughout the halls of government, within our home, and from our pulpits. May the praises of God break forth. Amen. 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 We just want to say amen to this evening. Thank you guys for being a part. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for worshiping with us. Every week, we are amazed at uh, how you guys engage in worship, and we're so grateful. We're blessed. You know, we can see you just like you can see us, and uh, we, we really, really enjoy just watching you guys receive the presence of the Lord. It means so much. We have, besides this group that you see on stage and, and these folks, we have about this many or more that help us every weekend, and we, you know, we sing in three different rooms uh, every weekend and leading in worship, so this was neat for us to kind of have most of us together or some of us together uh, that, that we don't usually get to do. 
But uh, we want we want to we want to end with one final song, and we want you to really help us with this one. We're going to sing "Ain't No Grave." Will you sing that with us? All right, let's stand together. Thank you for coming again. We we appreciate it.
Amen. What a great night to be together. God bless you all. You are dismissed.